Hello, and welcome back to uh, Corey Ruins no. Everything. <laughs> Hello. Hello. So it's been a while since you have seen us last. Um, that's because the last few months have been very difficult, and I know they've been difficult for a lot of people because of the virus, but our troubles started even before that. Um, Corey's grandmother passed away, and so we ended up having to go to California very unexpectedly. Um, then when we got back, I ended up in the hospital, and I've had a couple of health issues since then um, that have kept me from working on the bus. And then uh, we also had to put one of our cats down. Um, and then shortly thereafter, uh, the virus kind of has hit, so we've been in quarantine. Corey's still working, luckily, but um, I am not. And, uh, but I have been in a lot of pain, so I haven't been able to make progress on the bus. I'm hoping that will change, but I have another surgery that I have to go through. Um, all of that will be in vlogs that are coming up. Today we're going to talk about the progress that we have made, because I made a little bit of progress before all the bad stuff happened, and Corey made a little bit of progress um, after when I've been unable to help. So we got the floor pretty much done as far as scraping up all the glue. It was a much bigger task, which I feel like every time I say that, every single task has been a much bigger task than I originally thought it was gonna be. the metal off in the back and essentially what I'm doing now is I don't have a ton of time today so I'm just my goal is to get to the wheel wells but I may not get that far and I'm just gonna be scraping the um, glue off and the extra excess rust off and any paint and there's there's some weird caulking glue on the edges that needs to come up as well and basically prepping for the OSFO which we ordered on Amazon and we'll get here in the next couple days and what I'm really excited about is we don't even have any insulation in here. Um, it's about 30, 35 degrees outside. And just with an electric heater, the bus is actually, let's look at the temperature. It's 50 degrees in here. Um, which is great news because it means um, that we already have done a fairly good job of recocking windows and also getting everything ready. Um, sealing off some of the windows has definitely helped as well. And so I'm sure, I think, I don't think heating it will be an issue for us. Um, but we'll see. Six hours later. So today required a lot of trial and error. And as you can see, I barely got <laughs> A quarter of what I wanted to get done today done uh, but I need to stop I have other things to do and I'm really tired from yesterday um, my muscles are really sore so um, I finally figured out exactly what I need to do uh, but I'm out of the product to do it so this was my trial and error strip um, and I this took me like three hours of trying different methods to clean and then I finally found um, a Goo Gone that we used. It's an oven and grill cleaner Goo Gone, so it's a degreaser. Um, and I did this whole section in like 20 minutes. Uh, and it looks exactly the same as the one that took me hours. <laughs> so I'm actually out of the Goo Gone cleaner. It looks like this. Um, so I guess the good news is I know exactly what I need to do now. Bad news is I've got all more bus to do. <laughs> Learned a lot <laughs> about what works and what doesn't work. Um, based on that, I have purchased um, more oven grill cleaner Goo Gone. That seems to work the best. I'm not exactly sure why. Probably because it's got some sort of degreaser in it that is helping. Um, this has been amazing. It foams up and then I just scrape it right off much faster than what I was doing first. Um, and then we also upgraded our scraper. I don't know where I put it. Um, me and Corey have had the flu, so that's kind of put us a little behind where we wanted to be. 
Um, but uh, still making progress. <coughs> um, so I was using a paint scraper, um, a heavy duty paint scraper that's pretty hard, um, but we upgraded to this. Um, so I'm gonna try this out today. It's nice, pristine, clean. It'll be nice and dirty by the time I'm done with it. We also got some replacement blades for it. So I'm hoping that this actually makes a difference as compared to uh, using this. We'll see. Personally, what seemed to work the best was a series of sweeping and then vacuuming and then using um, Goo Gone oven degreaser, not the regular orange Goo Gone, but the oven degreaser one, um, spraying foam night and then um, scraping that up. And Corey bought me this awesome, like, heavy duty scraper that worked really, really well. Um, he got it on Amazon, so I'll link that in the description box below. Um, and then Corey did the rest of it. Yeah, I just went and got a copper, um, a copper braided brush that attached to the drill and just drilled, uh, used the drill to scrape off everything. And I used the diamond degreaser as well um, to get the, the last stuff in the scraper. Just a combination of any means necessary to, to try to get all that gunk up. I think we're almost ready for the OSFO. And then we can scrape it up and uh, recoat it with uh, some type of Rust-Oleum primer so that uh, there's no holes or rust in the floor. Overall, it's pretty, a pretty fairly easy process, just very time consuming. Yeah. I don't know about easy. I mean... I mean, it's not... It's, it's hard work on your arms, but it's, yeah. it's not like... It's a lot more physical than anything. Yeah. Yeah. And we did get some really unusual weather in January um, where we had one day where it was like 60 something degrees, which is insane for January for New Hampshire. But, um, and so I was able to test out the OSFO on the back of the bus that I had already finished cleaning. I just got home and it is unseasonably warm. Like I'm wearing a t-shirt in New Hampshire in January. This is insane. It's 65 degrees out. So I'm going to, even though um, we're not done scuffing the bus, I'm going to take advantage of this warm weather. I've got about an hour, hour and a half before the sun sets. Um, so I'm going to start laying down the OSFO on the areas that we've already scraped. OSFO is on. All the parts it can be on. It's hard to tell, but it basically just looks wet. It's a water-like consistency, which is interesting. Um, and it went on really fast. So... We'll see how this looks tomorrow. Tomorrow. All right, this is the verdict of the OSFO the next day. Um, it hasn't been 24 hours yet, so I'm not gonna quite do anything with this. Um, it looks like it got most of it. I've got this like white powder, which I've read online is pretty typical. Um, and I totally just walked on the clean floor with my dirty shoes. <clears throat> um, it's still really warm today, like crazy warm. It's 65 degrees, and it's actually 66 degrees in the bus. Um, I'm gonna leave this alone for a little bit longer. You can see there's still some rusted spots here, 
so I might apply some more Osfo. Um, I don't know if it didn't get enough or what happened, but the rest of the areas look pretty decent, um, especially the ones that only had a little bit of rust. Um, all of that is looking fantastic. Um, so I think I can just brush off the powder and then spray it down with some Rust-Oleum. I'm making as much progress as I can. I got the wheel wells off and I'm going to do a little bit more scrubbing, um, but I just kind of wanted to get this done so that I can shut my camera off and focus on actually getting some work done. Um, but I've kind of pretty much gotten the groove in the process of scraping done, um, down, I mean, so it's easy for me to go ahead and keep doing it. Hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. I'm going to show you the final result now so that you can enjoy it. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please do give it a like. Uh, consider subscribing. This channel is all about travel and bus life and minimalizing videos. It is newer um, because I started fresh. I also have a larger art channel that you can go ahead and check out as well and I'll link that here on the screen and in the description box below. Um, thanks so much for watching and until next time remember to create love and travel on. Bye!